getting back to that quintessential what you need when you go can am mavericking you also need a jacket there's rain gear on on the other side you need to have a rain jacket rain pants would be good too i do have rain pants but i didn't i don't take them with me uh too much weight then of course wipes are a good idea this is a toe strap right here and this is flag tape if you're going down a trail it wise off and it wise off and it wise off again at some point you're going to be like you know what let's flag it so that on the way back we know which way we're going of course you got to have sunblock and chapstick and uh you know i've got uh packaging tape uh you can you can do a lot of things with packaging tape also you know like <laughs> i've got this there's a switch underneath here for my light i got to keep it covered with this plastic case so that you know i should have done that initially but right now the switch is broken because the dog stepped on it i've got a dog that steps on it a lot plus i've had uh, a couple of girls inside of here and, and when one of them sits in the middle, you know, this, she sits right on top of that switch So what we're gonna do They put the switch here, which is stupid We're gonna put it up here where it's out of the way that way the dog can s Travel right here. I do have a third seat belt right here for a third passenger and what you do is you put one of these towels down and another towel in the back and uh, you can carry three people inside of a Can-Am Maverick. Not legally, but you can do it. So, uh, um, basically that's it. I just wanted to show you a few other, the, you know, the flag tape and the toe strap. You know, I've rolled this thing and it's been up on its roof and I had to flag someone over and what we did is we ended up putting, he had a winch on the front of his thing, so he could have just done it himself. But I put my toe strap on, and then we hooked his winch to the toe strap and pulled it right back over on its wheels. And, uh, you know, I would love to put a winch on the front of mine, but this is the radiator right here. You see this bracket right here? These bracket slots. Now, you could make something to put a winch small winch down here but you'd have to cut have it custom done and plus it you know you would never do it up here because this is where your massive radiator is you know maybe down here but man you'd have to do some custom work right there you know what i'm saying or, or you know maybe have it come out to here you know you could use these mounts you'd have to make a mount to mount the uh winch out here and you'd be fine a possibility I, i'm not going to do it but you know i've already invested 250 bucks or whatever it was for that front bumper and that bu front bumper is not coming off and <laughs> that's just the way it is i'm not going to take it off and buy another one so i can put a winch on is, is what i'm trying to get at so well of course you need a spare tire and uh the jack we showed you earlier but uh, uh that's about it so we're gonna we're just relaxing here we're gonna we're actually going to go start going on a ride right now